Hello and welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, where we are of course playing a Ogre Earth Elementalist of Kiko. Before we get back to clearing out the lair, we have some stuff to check. We have a ring, which is protection from cold. And uh, we can drop off a little bit of stuff, like enchant armor, and poison needles. And we can trade these returning tomahawks for regular ones, set those as our default throwable if we're using the Staff of Wizardry. Skill-wise, um, I could go for um, Ice Beast or Lightning Spire here, but I think I'm going to go for Death Channel. And Lightning Spire, now that I think about it, is just straight out because we're trying to be the opposite of Ultraviolet 4. So, Obviously, we can't use a Lightning Spire. Ice Beast would be fine. It wouldn't be that much of an investment, really. But uh, getting more Necro skill will get us better corpses from Kiku. So let's pick up Death Channel. Let's get like 10 spell casting, maybe 11 Necro. And then we'll just get some fighting. And that should be enough for Death Channel. All right. I think we're good to go here. So let's head down to, well let's eat, and let's head down to layer 3. Alright, we're immediately surrounded by blink frogs. It's not great. We can vile clutch. These guys hit for up to 20 damage each, and we don't really have much in the way of armor. Uh, we do have lignification and fear. I guess fear would be the play if we start taking too much damage. Let's try to Vile Clutch here. And maybe Sandblast. Okay, we get the kills easily enough. Let's keep going. Crocodile, it's fine. Should try and use Stone Arrow if we don't need to use Sandblast, if we don't need to conserve mana at all. Because we do have a limited supply of stones. We do have quite a few, though. Let's pull this guy. Um, yep, stone arrow, etc. Vile clutch. Uh, out of mana. Oh, right. Just sandblast it. I want to uh, try using our giant club with vile clutch. It normally has pretty poor accuracy. But if you vile clutch stuff... It goes down to very low evasion. So, like, if we put on this giant club... Alright, let's... Well, let's just Vile Clutch here, and then we hit, and we get the kill. Nice. Vile Clutch, and we hit, and we get the kill. It is quite slow, it's 1.6 turns for each swing, which is not really what you, uh, what you want. You want to get that down to one at most, so that monsters aren't normally double moving. But, oh well. We don't really need wizardry. I mean, 4% on Vile Clutch is more than zero, but it's not a particularly high failure rate. Here is Rupert. Well, we don't like that very much. He can see invisible, that's right. Um, how do I deal with Rupert? has some magic resistance. The problem is he can paralyze us, of course. And we do have line of sight here. Um, hmm. I don't think a fear scroll will necessarily work. Uh, we do have some blinking if we need to get out of here. Uh, I could try and break line of sight. If I go over here, that should break line of sight. And then... We can fog and walk away or something. I'm not actually sure. Alternatively, I could lignification and just fight him. 21 damage plus a great mace of protection. Could I win if I lignification here? Do we have more stuff coming? That's a good question. Hmm. I wish there was a potion of magic resistance that I could drink here. Um, okay, let's step over here, and yeah, he's he's coming for us. Let's 
Let's go for it. Let's lignification and possibly haste. Lignification, okay. Uh, we do have line of sight at the moment. Let's vial clutch or possibly LRD him. Do we LRD, do we vial clutch, do we um, use a wand of acid? Let's LRD him here. The metal wall should do extra damage. Okay, now that he's next to us, let's vial clutch. Uh, he's berserk, but that's actually fine because he didn't he didn't paralyze us, which was what I was mostly worried about. Uh, we can hit him with an acid charge, which corrodes him. And you know what? Maybe I'll just melee him. All right, we have a giant club. We are a tree. Um, okay. Uh, maybe sandblast him. Oh, uh, no, he's not constricted anymore. Okay, let's vial clutch. And we're out of magic. Hit him with the giant club. All right. We are the greater mace user, obviously. <laughs> Between us and Rupert, we are the better. Let's get more decks here. Uh, we're going to want to have some evasion. Oh, uh, well. Uh, I should have made a Rupert zombie instead of butchering here. That's uh, just habit. Oh, well. I could get Animate Skeleton, and just, uh, just so I stop doing that. It doesn't really matter. I mean, food is not normally that big a concern, and spell levels are currently a concern. You can see we have a uh, Shoals Entrance. Not really the best level for this character, but oh well. Let's go with our Vile Clutch uh, and Giant Club strategy here. All right, you know that artifact quarterstaff could have magic resistance on it, so maybe I should check that out. Yeah, I probably will check that out, but we can finish clearing out the lair first. Too much stuff we're carrying around here. Um, all right, let's head down to lair four. Distant snort. There's a lab entrance, labyrinth entrance. Can we even do that? Uh, it seems risky. Okay, here's a warped trident. Another artifact weapon that could have magic resistance on it. We need to drop some stuff. Here's a, a Nega. Let's just pull these guys back over here and, I don't know, vile clutch them. Yep, yeah, there we go. Easy enough. Let's check out this scroll. Brand weapon, we can put that on our giant club. Plus four of crushing. Well, that's okay, but it's going to get replaced. Um, hmm. Let's just head back and drop off some junk here. Okay. Amnesia, brand weapon. Um, unknown scroll. Artifact weapons. Those can wait until we get some more ID scrolls, which I'm saving for like a artifact, uh, artifact ring. Wand of Polymorph, I don't care about those. Let's turn off auto pickup. Okay, uh, head back down to layer three, I guess. Uh, the only reason I'm carrying this extra cold protection ring is of course an ice cave, possible ice cave. And cancellation is in case we need to lignification and then exit lignification. I could dump the... I don't know. Let's just head down. Don't really need fog, but... Oh well. Yeah, I don't care about the labyrinth. Let's just ignore that. And fight some elephants here. Um, yeah, I'll just pull them back. We could get some zombies out. All right, why not? Uh, why not get some zombies out here? We can animate dead, what was that? Did I have that on zero? I think I did. All right, so these guys will block the elephants for a bit and we can vial clutch them. Yep, vial clutch. There's one elephant down. And this guy's going to get next to us, 
and then we can Vile Clutch here. We are getting trampled, though. Hmm. I could try and melee him with the giant club. That... Hmm. Hmm. Is that a good idea? I don't know about that. That seems a bit questionable. Let's do it. Uh, didn't work as well as you might hope. Now, we I don't think we can get trampled back here. Let's just Vile Clutch. Hit with the club. Hit with the club. And we get the kill. Uh, so let's head back here and rest up. We don't want an elephant next to us because it could trample us off the stairs. All right, let's head back down to layer four. Frantic ticking of a clock nearby. I don't care. We could go in, actually. We could go in. I'm not going to. Don't want to. Well, we get some food. Let's animate dead. You can fight your buddy here. Uh, Vile Clutch. He keeps trampling us. He's ruining our strategy here. I don't like that. Come on, do these guys trample more frequently than they used to? What is up with that? Uh, why, why does he trample us every time we try to just stand still? Uh, okay. I mean, we can pass wall away, I guess. We can sandblast him. It's not killing him. Well, he's distracted. We can walk away. Please fight that other elephant. That's not working. Okay, let's head up and rest. Let's head down. Let's bio clutch and melee. Bio clutch, melee. All right, <laughs> got him. Let's take a look at our skills. Almost 10 necro, almost 10 spell casting. We should have the levels for death channel, which with wizardry is now um, 8%. That's pretty solid, actually. So we want to memorize that. I would also kind of like to spell undead once we get back out into the dungeon. So let's get death channel. We need another three spell levels. We'll probably level up once again. Um, all right, let's get 11 spell casting as well. And do we want to get death channel castable without wizardry? I don't think I care that much. Uh, let's just focus necro, get this other stuff. All right. Could get like two stealth. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty irrelevant to evocations. Let's get some more maces and flails. Let's get four maces and flails for now, since we're actually using that, apparently. All right. I think we're, I think we're ready to head back down. No, wait, let's adjust our items. Let's put the, the giant club on A. Let's put the, yeah, Staff of Wizardry on B. This is now our default weapon. Yes, very good. We are a giant club user now. Obviously. And just auto explore everything. Uh, let's vile clutch. Hit him with the club. See, it's it's such a strong weapon. When combined with vile clutch. But uh, <laughs> what isn't strong when combined with vile clutch is, is of course, the, the joke here. So we clutch and we hit. Uh, stone arrow, clutch. We could just wait here and it'll die. That gives us extra evasion, of course, since we have the Amulet of the Acrobat. That is actually a better strategy just to sit around. Let's pull these yaks back here. Uh, let's just stand here and vile clutch, and then we just continue standing here. And Okay, now we're starving. We can melee this guy. We should probably we should probably eat sandblast. All right. That's that's a bit better. So yeah, the giant club is actually worse than just standing still most of the time, but eh, I mean it, it's this it's the theme ingredient of this run. So we have to we have to use it, right? We have to hit stuff with the club. Let's head down to layer 5 here. Oppressive heat. Hey, there's a volcano. I do not care. I don't want to go into a volcano. We don't even have fire resistance. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna enter the volcano. It's just, it's too risky. Uh, let's soften these guys up a bit. We can pull like two yaks upstairs and vile clutch. Ooh, taking a bit of damage. How much do these guys do again? Nah, I mean, they'll probably just die. Yeah, got him. We have a polar bear downstairs. That's not so bad. Could be using death channel, I guess. Oh well, let's vile clutch. Um, stone arrow. Hit him. Alright. We can, uh... Well, you know what? Regen would give us... Regen would give us faster healing, which would... Which would give us fresher zombies. Right? So I guess I do want to learn that. Even though we have um, Petrify, Ice Beast, Simulacrum, Dispel Undead. All of these spells... Yeah, we don't really need Dispel Undead if we have Vile Clutch, right? And Stone Arrow. Let's get Regen. Uh, let's put that on... 9? Alright. And start using that. Head down. Um, animate Dead. And just start exploring. Yep, just hit him with the giant club there. Hit him with the stone arrow. Uh, there's a Hydra which just teleported in. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, the good news is we have a zombie here, uh, which will buy us maybe one turn. And we have some ranged options. We can stone arrow, and sandblast, and sandblast. Uh, why is our zombie over there now? What, what are you doing? Why? Alright. Uh, it's an eight-headed Hydra, which could... It could do a lot of damage to us, but if we just sandblast it, right, it just dies. Okay. Get some more piety. That's nice. Um, sandblast. Sandblast. Alright. Uh, vile Clutch. Use the club. Got him club is just too strong, obviously. A uh, giant club, clearly just carrying this run. Uh, there's a basilisk, which reminds me, we should be IDing those... No, we don't have ID scrolls. Never mind. Never mind. So here our zombie is blocking the basilisk. Maybe I should have used uh, received corpses against Rupert. The thing is, we didn't really have the, the time, right? We had to use lignification pretty much immediately. So... Uh, whatever. Anyway, the zombie's blocking the basilisk. So we can just vile clutch it and he'll petrify our zombie instead of us. Uh, and he'll just die to the vile clutch. Yep. Easy enough. Uh, get a zombie out. Get those spell levels. Get that necro. Maces and flails. We can get up to four. Going hard into those maces and flails, obviously. Alright. Let's kill a blink frog. I guess we sandblast it. Yeah, that's probably the best approach. I wonder if blink frog zombies are good. Let's, uh, let's give that a try. Yeah, just auto-explore. Uh, it is suboptimal to auto-explore when you have allies around. Because, you know, they, they expire over time, which is kind of why I'm ambivalent about the whole... <sighs> I accidentally vile clutch myself. Anyway, I'm ambivalent about the whole zombies and skeletons expiring now. They used to last forever. Now, obviously, they don't. It was kind of overpowered, but... Oh, well. Here's a fire elemental. Eh. That's probably fine. He's just a melee dude, right? We can sandblast it. If you were a, a fire mage, that would be more of a problem. Oh well. Sandblast some blink frogs as well. We have plenty of stones. Get a zombie out. And just keep on going here. Um, 
Just need to keep an eye out for Hydra's. Is that an artifact ring? Uh, let's. Uh, no, that's the wrong macro. Let's regen. That is an artifact ring. All right, this is what I was saving ID for. Resist poison, magic resistance plus, strength plus four. Yes, excellent. Uh, this immediately replaces plus five strength, which we no longer care about in the slightest. So we now have poison resistance and magic resistance, both extremely valuable. So that's pretty good. Let's try to vial clutch this guy at long range. Um, I don't know. Just sit around. Vile clutch. Uh, sandblast. Got him. Okay. Get some. Well, eat up. Get a zombie out, I guess. I should probably swap my uh, macros so that regen is on zero. Because I'm going to be casting that more than um, Animate Dead. Alright, that's layer 5 done. Here is layer 6. Hippogriff, that's fine. Stone Arrow it. And keep going. Komodo Dragon is a uh, fairly tough melee dude. And it has some armor, so Sandblast is not that great, but you know what we can do is Vile Clutch, hit him with the club. Got him. Uh, we do have pretty poor defense, but it doesn't really matter that much. Another Komodo Dragon. Stone Arrow it to death. There's a Spiny Frog, which is probably going to catch up to us, but we, we can just Vile Clutch it and hit it with the club. Got it. Alright. Let's rest up here and regen. Keep on going. Um, is this not connected? I guess it probably is. Let's get cold resistance on here. Yeah. Vile clutch the rhyme drake from back here. It just dies. Okay. Here we have a Hydra. That's uh, a bit concerning, but yeah, you know what? Let's receive corpses and just animate dead. That works. And then maybe they'll distract this thing long enough for Vile Clutch to kill it. So that works. And we can get a we can get a Hydra zombie, which is quite strong. So let's keep exploring. You guys kill that basilisk for me. Good job, buddies. There's a spiny frog, wolf. Let's just sandblast this stuff. Uh, vile clutch. All right. We could be using death channel, actually. That's a good point, me. Uh, we could also just do nothing and everything will die. That's also a good point. You guys all attack that hydra. Um, we'll just back off a bit. Vile Clutch. Okay. Throw a Tomahawk for no reason. There we go. Our Hydra Zombie kills the Hydra. We get a new Hydra Zombie. Well, let's rest a bit. Let's get the zombie out. Alright. Our Hydra is probably just going to kill that elephant. Yeah. Let's Vile Clutch just for the extra experience. Alright. And melee stuff with the club. Again, just for that little bit of extra experience. Easy enough. And rest up a bit. I might want magic regen now that I think about it. Let's get some zombies out. And vile clutch. Alright. I might want a magic regen amulet. That would... That would allow us to start exploring while our zombies are fresher. That might be nice. Uh, yeah, pretty much just vile clutching everything to death. Although we did kill with the giant club. So we are getting giant club kills here. Uh, I might want a magic map. We only have one though. Just need to be careful about those stupid, stupid vaults that you sometimes get in the 
in layer 6. Okay. There's another Hydra. Do we need to receive corpses to kill a Hydra? Eh, why not be safe? Why not be safe? You guys attack the Hydra, please. We'll just back off a bit. Get the Vile Clutch down. Throw a... Well, use a Wand of Flame. Alright. Got him. And let's melee this guy. Alright. Uh, we are training just fighting now. Yeah. That was the cost look. About twice the cost of maces and flails. Alright, let's focus fighting. Let's get some more maces and flails. Cap that at... Um, 12. Cap fighting at 16. Let's get some more necro. Like 12 necro. Hmm. What are we going to do with more necro? Death channel without wizardry. Better corpses from Kiku. Let's get some more spell casting. Um, whatever. Let's get two stealth for some reason. Sure. Okay, and let's eat. Keep going here. Oh, right. We want the uh, poison resistance ring on. That's that's true. Water moccasin, it's not a problem. What's our hunger like? Uh, basically none on animate dead. Significant on level 5 spells. Okay, wyvern, komodo dragon, let's... Stone arrow. Uh, vile clutch, melee. Alright, got him. There's a hydra. Um... Let's animate dead. Back off. Clutch. He escapes. Clutch. Okay, we can just uh, stone arrow sandblast. And if we ran out of mana or something, we of course have wands. So there's a fire crab. This is probably the end vault of layer 6. So I might want to just leave. We don't have fire resistance either. Go away. He's coming for us. Okay, let's clutch. Let's get out of the flame clouds. Um, hmm. How do we even kill a fire crab? I guess we just walk away from it. Fire crab. Oh, yeah, we're getting in the... Yeah, we're getting in the flame clouds. Uh, I let it get some hits off on me. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this guy. Let's just Let's just go back to the dungeon. We could fight him um, on the stairs, but let's just go back to the dungeon. Not feeling hungry. Come on, keep going. All right. Still don't have the ID scrolls to ID all this stuff, but I want some more magic resistance at this point. Uh, let's check out the warped trident. Flame dex plus five. Not really what we're looking for. Yeah, it's not really worth anything. Yeah, drop it, please. Don't wield it. Yeah, I guess we're good to go here. Is this a duplicate scroll? No. All right. Um, well, I actually, I have to go, unfortunately. So it's going to be a short episode today. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.